you probably think drilling your borehole will be the end of your water issues. Most of the time, when you're in the greater Accra region, that is not the case. After drilling your borehole, you still need to treat the water. Most of the time in the greater Accra region, where water will most likely be salty. So when the water is salty, what then do you use? You use the reverse osmosis or a water desalination plant. What we have here, it's the water desalination plant or a reverse osmosis system. And when you come to Accra, when you con contact any company at all, the reverse osmosis most often looks the same. You see them in these in painted frames or whatever. You see this uh, big white, a uh, whitish um, something or housing mounted on the frame. I probably think they are all the same. No, they are not all the same. Okay, these are just housings, right? To house the main thing, to house the main uh, gadgets or system or machinery or whatever that desalinate the system. Okay, so. The reverse osmosis starts from this your pump. This uh, this pump is called your high pressure pump, right? A high pressure pump is to take uh, water from your uh, your pretreatment vessels, right, and send them to the uh, membrane vessels. Okay. So here we're going to start from the pretreatment. Your pretreatment vessels also they do they do come in different colors. The color we have here is the is a black color. Okay, but now you may also see them, uh, uh, I mean, to look the same. Most of the time, they are not always the same. Okay, when you look beside the pretreatment vessel, you see some letters or something written on the body. If you check here closely, okay, this one here, they've written maximum pressure and they wrote 10 bar. Okay, 10 bar here means it's uh, 150 PSM. What does that mean? It means that um, the, 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 the maximum pressure that this particular vessel will be able to handle. Okay. And because we have high pressure pump is stored alongside a reverse osmosis, which do normally uh, delivers high level of pressure exerted on these vessels. That is why most, well, most of the times you see most of these vessels getting cracked or shrinking with time and because the vessels are not high pressure vessels. Okay. These vessels, we have them in different uh, pressure ratings. We have the most common in the market um, are the ones with, I mean, that can only handle up to um, 100 psi. Okay. So even though you may see these vessels, maybe you ask them to send you a picture and they send you um, a reverse osmosis with these complete systems. See, the picture doesn't really say anything, doesn't really mean a lot. That doesn't really mean anything at all. We need to check the data, the specification of each of these vessels. Okay, so this one can handle up to 150 psi. It may be a little bit uh, on the higher side compared to the other ones. And you may be thinking, why are these people charging me so high? Demand for the data, the uh, data sheet of each of these systems. Okay, this one 150 psi, it will be hard for this one to ever get cracked, to ever get uh, torn apart and broken. Okay, the other ones are just 100 psi. Okay, the same thing to uh, this, uh, this one here, the, the membrane vessels. Okay, you will see these two in all the uh, reverse osmosis. This membrane vessel is the thin housing the membrane. The membrane vessels uh, do come in different sizes as, as well. This one is a, um, 8 by 40 inches. Okay, this circumference here is um, 8 inches and the length is 14. Okay, and the uh, size of the membrane this one can also take is 80, is 8 by 40. Okay, or uh, simply put, they call it 80, 40. Okay, just eight by 40 inches and the membranes there. So the membrane, so this vessel acting also, we also need to check the pressure rating. If you look here closely, they've written the pressure rating here. This one can take up to 300, uh, 300, right? This one can take up to, uh, no, this one, this particular model is, uh, 300 Hz. If you check the pressure here, okay, they said the maximum pressure here is 300 PSI. Okay. There are some vessels that can only take also up to just 150 PSI. Okay, if you go for those vessels, meaning if the pressure of this particular pump, this part, the, the, the high pressure pump, uh, will go there to, to also check. If the high pressure pump is working at the highest pressure rating, this vessel is going to crack, it's going to break. Okay, so you check the pressure rating of your vessels as well. And this vessel also doesn't really mean too much. Okay, you need to consider the kind of membrane they will put in your uh, in the vessel. Uh, in the past, I've uh, explained how to interpret the water test result. Now, 
if you look at your by TDS level, right, the total dissolved solids in your uh, water test result, if the TDS is about 3,000, 3,005, you should know that you shouldn't use any membrane below uh, the SW membranes, okay? If you use the BW, which is the brackish water membranes, they may not last you that long and they may not be able to purify your water to the barest minimum of uh, conductivity, okay? But here, you're looking at getting the water down to the barest minimum of conductivity. So it's best to use high quality membranes that will be able to do just that for you. If we move away from here, if you look here, we'll see a particular pump here. This pump here is called your, uh, this pump here is the um, dosing pump, okay? What is the work of the dosing pump? The dosing pump is to dose chemicals into your water, to dose chemicals into this land, okay? Why, 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 why is this also very important? It's important because, you see, your water here has a whole lot of minerals. And sometimes these minerals, they get stuck uh, to the pore, pore holes or on the surface of the membrane. And this membrane is quite expensive. Then how do we prevent that? We, well, we, 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 we apply uh, anti-scaling chemicals, okay? The anti-scaling chemical is what goes into the water to prevent the scales formation like calcium, magnesium formation on the surface of the membrane that's the use that's the use of the uh dosing pump just to dose uh anti-scaling chemical into your into the into the water line before the water gets to your membrane now let's quickly now let's come back here okay before we move away from here this particular vessels houses your media the media are the ones that take, that takes out all the other minerals from your water before the water gets to your membrane what I'm trying to do here to reduce the mineral content in the water to the, to the, to the barest minimum we can before the water gets to the membrane. All we are trying to do is to only make sure the membrane is only removing the dissolved solids in the water and not something like high on particulates, uh, sediment, um, sulfur, uh, I mean, those other minerals. Okay, so the first, uh, the first uh, tank, the first filtration system, do normally uh, comes in different layers of media. So this one is mostly called multimedia system, right? The multimedia system houses your silica sand, polished silica sand. I mean, also the, 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 the gravel, the gravel will come first, then the smooth sand, which will be silica sand, then your activated carbon into here. Make sure the activated carbon you have in here is the high grade one, the um, charcoal, I mean, the, uh, sorry, the, the, the coconut shell based activated carbon and not the wood based activated carbon. Okay, and make sure the iodine level is um, 1,100 iodine level. It's really, really important for the longevity and also the uh, for uh, uh, purity in your WhatsApp. Okay, you don't want anything. I mean, uh, to serve as a breeding ground for microbial growth in your water is really, really important. And carbon is known to actually uh, absorb uh, mi microbes grow uh, growth in your in your water. So it's really important to use coconut based and not uh, wood based charcoal. In here is going to be your softer, 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 softness system or soft, softener raisin. Okay, the softener raisins to uh, do comes in different ones, different brands, different uh, premium brands. Okay, the particular one inside here will most likely be the cation raisin. The cation raisin is to soften your water, take out uh, the uh, hardness cause minerals in your water before the water gets to your membrane. Okay, make sure that it, it's a premium brand. Premium brand brands uh, that will be able to check the data sheet online, not the Chinese brands. Okay, if you can get ProLife, you can get Do, if you can get LG, uh, S3 Pure, make sure you go for um, premium brand, premium raisins. They are, it's very, very important. Most of the time, those in the US uh, or in the southern, uh, in northern America, or, I mean, not, not, not in American countries, we most likely attach water softener and water regeneration system in addition to this tank. Okay, with time, okay, with time, the racing bits here will stop uh, being effective. I mean, they need to empty the tank for them to be able to pour new racings into the tank. So it's really important to get good quality racings in play. Now, let's go to, let's go back to the membranes, okay? Let's go back. Okay, the high pressure pump also make sure it's also high quality high pressure pumps. Here we have CMP, right? We have other brands like Chingy. Can even use uh, ground force. Ground force is actually quite expensive. You want to use ground force 
be uh, be ready to pay <laughs> be ready to pay more more for that. Ground force is quite expensive. So let yeah, us look for the membrane. Okay. See earlier I mentioned that we have the from the the first of the membrane to a this is actually called ventricle. In the this is actually a Chinese membrane, but in the uh, membrane world, right? This is the most that most premium. Can receive a personal cleaning and a full tire function. And this one is specifically made for seamless. If you check here, yeah, you can maybe when you are when you are when you contact uh, the company, tell them to send you the model number for read the ones in your reverse space. And here you can read more on this membrane online. Just type uh SW8040 HR-400 Vontron membrane, and you'll be able to get all the data and the information uh, you need. To understand regarding this membrane before you give up. So, what am I trying to say? Drilling your bottle is not the total solution to your water issues. A lot of people with bottles in a prayer that are not that will not even be able to use them, that are not using the bottles because the bottles are too mineralized, have too much salt, which uh, contains iron, and when all these things happen, you won't be able to use them unless you treat the water. And sometimes when you are trying to find a solution to the uh, a water issue to the I mean poor water quality they run into different companies and they give you different codes send you pictures making it look as if this is the basis and that always demand for the data sheets of the things they will be putting inside the membrane the first thing you demand for the kind of media they will put in there demand for the data sheet for those media uh, the kind of membrane they will put in there demand for the model number and the data sheet of that media I mean the the membrane sometimes even demand ask them why are they going for this, this particular membrane? Why not another uh, kind of membrane? Why SW? Why BW? Why uh, um, ULP? Why XLP? You see, demand for all these things for you to be able to know that these companies know exactly or understand exactly what they are giving you. They are just not working to the market to buy you any cheap stuff to, 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 to install because most, most important, whatever they install for you will work in the first few few weeks or months but it's not going to last okay so probably you can think after installing they've tested the thing and oh everything is perfect perfect everything is okay but within a few months the whole thing will shut down demand for the data sheet of the kind of anti scalance they are giving you make sure what they are supplying is top notch and also make sure whoever you are dealing with has got good track records if you enjoy my video and if you think you've gotten uh, good information from this video do well to subscribe give me a thumb up and if you also have any question you can comment down below thank you i see you in the next one